Hi everyone, Anthony Morganti here. Recently, On One Software have updated No Noise AI to version 2022.5. In today's video, we're going to take a look at what's new and exciting in this, the latest version of No Noise AI. Now, as you look at my screen, you may be wondering if this is a video about No Noise AI, why is he in Lightroom? That's because this latest version of No Noise AI includes a new denoising method that works best on non-RAW files. Now, when No Noise AI was originally built, it was built to maximize its effectiveness with RAW files. Now, they still had to denoise non-RAW files, but admittedly, they didn't really have a dedicated method for non-RAW files until now. Now, I'm in Lightroom because Lightroom has a quirk. When you use a plugin with Lightroom, you cannot send a RAW file from Lightroom into the plugin. You have to send a non-RAW file, a PSD, a JPEG, or a TIFF. So I'm doing this demonstration starting out in Lightroom with a RAW file. You can see that this is a Nikon RAW file shot at relatively high ISO 12,800. And if I zoom in, you could see that it has a considerable amount of noise. So I'm going to use deno or no noise AI to remove the noise. I'm going to right click right on the image, go over to edit in and down to on one no noise AI 2022. And as I mentioned, we can't send the raw file. I have to send either a PSD, TIFF or JPEG. Now on one recommends you send a PSD with these specs. So that's what we're going to do. I'm going to click edit. And you can see in the top left hand corner, there's a progress bar. Lightroom is creating that PSD file with those specs and it will open it up into no noise AI and no noise AI is going to immediately use this new method because it knows that this is a non raw file and it's going to use the new method and the new method is called high detail. You can see it right here and we have the original method still. So if you're working on a raw file, so you're using no noise AI as a standalone application and you put a raw file directly into it, I recommend that you use the original method. If you're using a non raw file, try the high detail method and we'll do a before after there's before and there's after now there's before and there's after. Now let's keep looking at the after version. It did a really nice job, right? Let's take a look at the original method so we could compare the two. So I'll go to this drop down and I'll put the original method and we'll just keep the default settings. Give it a second to render. And there's the original method and that looks actually very good as well. But if you look very carefully, maybe at the feathers in the bird's cheek and neck area here, I'm going to go back to the high detail method and you will see, I think you'll see in the video that there is better detail in this method. There it goes right now. So you can see there is very slightly better detail. So this latest version of No Noise AI does a great job at working with non-RAW files. And that really is the main um, improvement or new feature in this uh, application. They did, you know, fix a lot of bugs and they made it so it works faster. Although it does work very fast to begin with. If you're familiar with Topaz Labs to Noise AI, you'll know that that is pretty uh, computer heavy. It uses a lot of microprocessor and graphics card um, resources and tends to work very slowly. And for some photographers, it doesn't really run at all on their computers. This is where no noise AI is superior. It's just a lot faster. It's also a lot easier to use. It may not work best in all situations though, because you do have more options with denoise AI, but I think overall, for most situations, no noise AI works great. Even with the default settings, I haven't done anything here. I think it looks uh, well, it looks fantastic, really. Now, this isn't a video demonstrating how to use no noise AI from beginning to end. I do have videos that demonstrate that. I just want to talk about this new feature. So I'm going to click done, and then we're gonna, going to go back to Lightroom and we'll compare the original. Uh, raw file to this new improved PSD file that has the noise removed. Let's open up the film strip, film strip, hit F6 on my computer, finding it difficult to talk. Go to the original image. 
We'll go up here to view and I'm going to lock the zoom position and we're going to zoom in to right about here. How's that? All right, there is the original raw file with the noise. Here is our new improved uh, model. Oh, look at that. It didn't remove the noise. Look at this. We have this three lines in Alpero. That means that Lightroom is having a problem reading the metadata. Just click on that and choose the middle choice, import settings from disk. And you can see there it is. It removed the noise. So uh, there's the original raw file. And there is our new improved no noise file. There's the original file and the no noise file. You could see it really did a nice job. So that's really everything that's new in No Noise AI version 2022.5. Thank you everyone who watches my videos. I really do appreciate it. Talk to you guys soon.